Hey guys, I'm Alexey Lopic and today we will have a quick hands-on look at Agile X3 FPGA development kit. At a high level, Agile X3 brings many high-performance features in a cost-optimized package. These features include high-speed transceivers and EMIF, hyperflex architecture and AI-infused DSPs for complex processing demands. At a system level, it also has a dual Cortex A55 ARM cores, LPDDR4 support and many security features. All of that comes at a low logic density and in a tiny variable pitch BGA packaging for easier signal routing. To double click on this and many more features, please check the Altera website. But today, I'd like to have a look at real hardware. Here I have three Agile X3 development boards. The first one is from Altera and is called Agile X3 FPGA C-Series Development Kit and I will base my demonstration on it. The other two kits come from Terasic and are called DE23 Lite and Atom A3 Nano. These are also elegant, powerful and compact platform with many connectivity features, so the design I show today can be ported to these boards as well. Let's get back to the Altera C-Series dev kit. There are many Agile X3 features that this kit exposes, but in today's demonstration we will use the following. MIPI D5 2.5 interface for sensor connection, LPDDR4 for video frame buffering, DisplayPort 1.4 for 4K video output, and onboard USB Blaster 3 for programming. Because I want to demonstrate a camera design, we do need an image sensor and a lens. For this, I am using a Raspberry Pi high quality camera module. To connect this module to the depth kit, I will use an adapter camera cable. The connector can be a little bit fiddly, so do take your time. And the rest is very straightforward. Connect display port output to a monitor, connect USB blaster to a laptop, and finally, connect USB 3 Type-C connector to a capable power supply. And that's it. Now, let's fire up the Quartus programmer and then power up the board. You can identify the hardware in this menu. Once the hardware is identified, you can perform auto discovery to identify all devices in the chain. In this instance, I'm only using soft file, so I will load it by right clicking on the device and selecting the corresponding file. Finally, I'll program the device by clicking start. Let's give it a few seconds. And as you can see, the link between the image sensor and the video output is now live. What I have running is a simple camera solution with the following key components. MIPI CSI2 protocol IP core to interface with the sensor, display port 1.4 IP for video output, various IPs from video and vision processing suites such as black level and white balance correction, video frame buffer and the mosaic to implement a basic ISP pipeline, and finally NIS5 soft processor for the overall pipeline control. Some of the controls are exposed to the user via the JTAG terminal. So you can modify overall exposure, adjust color temperature, and turn the features on and off. Hopefully, with this quick demonstration, I did show you that you can get camera and video designs going on Agile X3 very quickly. And with its broad range of connectivity and processing options, Agile X3 provides an ideal platform to develop such solution across the broad range of applications. To learn more about the technology, visit the Altera website, get your Agile X3 dev kit and start developing today. Happy designing!